All right, guys. Me and my buddy Cabo were above hunters doing some arenas. Now I don't really claim to be a very good PvP here. Still learning ropes here, but I figured I would post this. Sorry for the lag, but um, this is how my computer is. And we're going up against two pallies here: a red pally and a holy pally. Over here at the beginning of the fight, we decide to kind of LS them. I hide behind these walls for a little bit, waiting for them to come over. Kind of, we kind of talk a little bit of shop while we're waiting. Trying to figure out who we're going to focus the target on. We decide that it's better to go after the Rep Pally first. Try to wear him down. You know, you know, keep our damage past what the healer can heal and kill him out. So that the healer will be, you know, the fences. Ends up working out pretty well, actually. So here, I'm just lagging like crazy, so it's kind of hard for me to focus on the target. I usually don't get into the fights until a little later on. I usually let Cable start up. And, um, so yeah, we're going after the, the healer, I believe, at first, or at least I am. I get stunned here. I just let I just let the stun go at its duration. I'm trying to shoot down this pally as quick as I can, while the, the retribution pally is totally on me, trying to kill me, so I have to kind of keep him off. I frost trap right there. Just kill commanding when I can. Because I'm I'm BM by the way. This fight really takes a long time and it's a really slow, drawn out fight. And not really the, the retribution power is not really doing a lot of damage, so you know, it takes a little bit of time. I put my traps down, trying to slow him down. He keeps trying to get up close, and I just keep trying to get away. He he really stays on me and he doesn't even barely even touches the cable the whole time and I kinda fall off the ledge here it wasn't on purpose I get stunned here again uh, I think I drink it out of this, no I don't drink it out, I decided to save it now we frost trap the healer which gives us enough time to kill the um the retribution pally so then we go after the, the H pally and basically at this point it's just throwing all the cooldowns you can at him until he drops. Now at this point in the fight he jumps off the ledge and Cable goes after him and I just kind of lose track of where they're at so as you can see I can't, I'm not shooting at anything I'm just trying to find them. And if I would just looked at my map I could easily saw where they're at. My pet's over there though so I hit a kill command a few times to, to contribute some damage. So um yeah, I'm just kind of still wandering around, not doing anything productive. Finally, I get over there and start dishing out some damage, throwing some cooldowns. Cobra shot a few times to build my rage up, I'm focus up, and then, you know, kill command, and beast of wrath, and then he's pretty much dead after that. So that was the first game that we played, which went by pretty well. I mean, it took a while, but we ended up winning. Could have been a lot faster if I would have actually been focusing and not walk running around like a chicken with no head on. Now this game is against, I believe this is the one where we play against a hunter and a, a feral druid. Yeah, the hunter and feral druid. The feral druid is still stealth at this point, so we just focus on the hunter. And the feral druid stay on me, and so is the hunter. They're actually both on me. The hunter goes down pretty fast. If I remember right, I'm basically just running around the room, throwing traps, trying to get the, the the wolf off me. The hunter finally goes down, not with a bear. I have barely any life left at this point. The druid's trying to stay on me, so I basically the rest of this game I basically just run around trying to keep the druid off me. I decide to use a bandage here while Kibo distracts the druid. That that gives me about half my life back, which is well, a quarter of my health back, which is really good. I throw down an ice trap here to slow him down and just lay on him, keep consecutive shot on him at all times. And just keep doing my thing, keep him as far as I can. I trink shot a couple of times, kill shot, cobra shot. And he finally goes down. That was a bit of a quicker game.
Here we're just waiting for the next one to start. I think yeah, this is this is the first of three games we play against the same team, a warrior and a mage team. We decided to go on the mage for we decided to go on the warrior first. Try to take him out, burn him out as quick as we can. As you can see, the, the, the warrior, the, you know, kind of starts going down pretty quick. You know, this, this double DPS is just, you know, a lot of burst of damage. You can take people out quickly, especially if you have no heals. Yeah, the warrior's down. Cable's almost dead. The warrior focused on Cable most of the game. The mage is basically not, <laughs> has no chance really. He's just doing his DPS and he decides to ice block here. You know, with a shiver of life left. So I go and place a couple traps underneath his feet. So when that he breaks out, he basically dies instantly. And I continue to shoot at him, even though he's an ice break and he dies. So that was that game. F Here we play against that same team again. Now we had just started this um, team like right before we started this game, so we're playing in some pretty low-ranked teams here, but it's still it's good passes. Here we're just running around, looking, you know, waiting, trying to figure out what target we're gonna go after. I get, yeah, we go after the mage this time first. Focus on the mage. I get frozen here, I break out of it, every man for himself. Basically just DPS the mage down. The mage somehow untargets mess from me. So I have to retarget him, which takes a few seconds. I end up getting him. He ice blocks again. He actually ice blocks every game when he's about to die. I don't really understand why he does that. It's not like it actually helps him. The mage goes down. And the warrior is by himself now. We basically double focus on the warrior. The warrior's going after me, and I have to just stay away from him. Cabo freezes him long enough for me to get out of the way. The warrior charges me, and I have to run away again. I throw down a, a frost trap. I forget what they call that trap. And I'm just consensive shotting them, you know, doing whatever I can to stay back. I think at this point, Cabo uses his spirit pet to heal me, which ends up, you know, keeping me alive long enough to win the game. Kill shot, kill shot, and a couple of arcane shots, and the game's over. Here we play against that same team again. This is, you know, this is the last one we play against that team. Basically, the mage decides to lay back and stay in the tunnel for a while, and the warrior just goes down by himself, so this one ends up being pretty easy. We basically just DK, uh, DPS the mage, I mean the warrior down really fast before the mage even gets down there really. I fall off the ledge again like a dumbass. Yeah, now the mage finally decided to come to the fight but it's a little too late because we've already got his buddy down. And we basically DPS him down pretty quick. Yeah, a trink shot, get rid of Arcane Brilliance, and then kill shot and he's gone. Oh, he ice blocks. I, I can get any ice blocks. So I put a couple traps down. He blinks and he dies from the fire damage of my explosive trap. I believe this is the last one we play here. And if I remember right, this is a DK. A DK and Rogue team. We didn't know that at the time. So we go after the DK. The Rogue tries to do his little stun lock thing on me. I'm basically just trying to keep my um, Hunter's Mark on him. But he dispels it, gets away. I throw down the flare. And the flare is able to reveal him. Which I end up basically just putting my dots back on him. And Hunter's Mark back on him and get him out. We focus on the rogue first because, you know, obviously the DK can heal and can stay alive a lot longer. The rogue's, you know, flimsy, so 
basically we just focus on the yeah yeah that's what the DK decides to leave the group so fun times.